Hi, I know a lot of you use our scanning and faxing services at the library. I wanted to do a short video on how to scan and fax documents using your mobile devices. So the first option I'm gonna show you is for Apple products. Um, it's through the notes application. My notes application is in my productivity folder here. So I'm gonna click that. It is the top middle application there. If you cannot find the notes application on your Apple device, if you scan right all the way to you get this screen here on the top under that search bar, you can search notes and it'll bring up that application. You can just select it there. Um, but I use mine quite a bit for this particular purpose. So I know where mine is in my productivity folder. Um, <clears throat> so the very first screen will be the folder screen if you have not opened it already. So you'll see I have two accounts linked to it, my iCloud, which is the Apple-based um, storage for your notes, and then I have a Gmail note stored in there as well. So if you, you have to use one of the iCloud folders or you have to make a note in the iCloud account folder. So I'm just gonna hit note under my iCloud, and here you'll see some of my um, scans that I have used already. But at the bottom right hand corner, there is a little square with a pen icon. I'm gonna select that for a new note. So this is the new note screen. Above the words of the predictive text here, there's a couple icons. So there's a table icon, formatting icon. There's a camera icon there as well. That's what I'm gonna actually use. So I'm gonna select that camera icon and it's gonna give me three options. So it's gonna give me scan documents, take photo or video or select something from my photo library. So that first option, scan document, is what I want. So it will turn on my camera. So you'll see my desk here in a minute. <clears throat> I've just laid out a plain piece of paper here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna position your camera right over that document, and you should see like a, a yellow box coming up trying to read where that document is. So there it is. Um, it is ready for the next scan. You can see it says that right there. So I'm just going to scan it again as if I've had multiple pages in my document. It's gonna grab another scan. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that save button. And it's gonna give me a couple options. So you can see above here, it's showing me a preview of those two scans. If I actually, touch on the words scan documents, it's gonna let me change the title of these documents to whatever I want. So I'm gonna say demo scan for these two, two documents. I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna change the title of that. So from this screen, I can hit done if I want to. Um, but what I'm really looking for is that send icon, which is gonna be in the upper right corner here. It's that box with the arrow. Um, going away from you or going up, depending on the orientation of your phone. So I'm gonna select that. Um, and it's gonna give you some options of how to send that. So um, typically what I use is um, I'm, I send it through my mail or my Gmail service. Um, you could, I guess, text it if you want, but for our purposes, we are emailing it. So I'm gonna select my Gmail service. And you will see that it is scanned as a PDF in there. So I would, um, I can send it to myself at my work email from myself, and that way I have access to that scan, and then I could send it to somebody else. You could actually send it to somebody else right here. Um, but that's how you would do that. You would just hit the send icon in that upper right-hand corner to send that out using the notes application in um, your, Apple products, so your iPhone or your iPad. Um, so the other option here, I just close that application out, is this cam scanner. So you would have to download that if you don't have it. Um, so I'm gonna go in there. The benefit of cam scanner, it does allow you to fax. So it does allow you to fax for a fee. Um, I believe it is 99 cents for the first page and then a dollar for each subsequent page. So it's about a dollar a page to fax if you need that service. Um, but the scanning and sending via email is free. The only difference is this cam scanner will watermark it. So um, there again is a camera plus icon at the bottom middle part of the, of the screen there. I'm gonna select that. 
and it's going to bring up the camera similar to the notes application. Um, it should try to should try to read. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sometimes it will automatically see the edges of that paper. Here, I just had to take a photo of it and um, kind of crop down where the edges are. Again, I'm going to hit this forward button in the aqua here. And then there's my scan. Similar to the notes application at the very top, I can select that new document and I can rename it demo CS cam scanner um, scan done. Okay, and then it gives you options here, which is a little bit nice. You can lighten it, you can magic color it, which I used to do a lot, and then it would just um, kind of take out any of that weird shading lighting that you have. And here I'm going to hit that um, that aqua check mark here, and uh, you can email it at the bottom there. There's an email option. It gives you options here, so that's another added feature. Some of those might cost with the crown on it. That's the premium cam scanner, but I'm just going to hit PDF here. Um, Oh, now it does let me remove, oh, just kidding. It doesn't let me remove the watermark, but I can send it. And here it gives me, um, you know, I can send it, put in the email there and send it. So I'm gonna cancel that. I don't actually wanna send it. I'm gonna delete that draft. Okay. So if I select that again, if I hit more, um, there should be the fax option is there. It's gonna be the top right option here. I'm going to select that. You would just add in um, your balance is zero. So you would have set up an account. You would add money to that account and then you would put in a number and you could send it that way. So there are two options to do that. So I hope hopefully you find that helpful if those are um, services that you need right now and you can't get from the library. 